Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial on parsing data. At the end of this tutorial you will be able to split a string using a delimiter, remove the white space around the string, convert the data types of variables from one type to another. So before beginning this tutorial we would suggest you to complete the tutorial on get it started with lists. So now invoke the IPython interpreter by typing IPython on your terminal. As you can see, each record consists of fields separated by a colon in the file sslc.txt. The first record in the region code, then roll number, the name, mark of second language, then first language, max, science and social and total marks. Our job is to calculate the arithmetic mean of all the max marks in the region B. Now let us understand what is meant by passing data. From the input file we can see that the data we have in the form of text. Passing this data is all about reading it and converting it into a form which can be used for computations. In our case, it will be a sequence of numbers. We can clearly see that the problem involves reading the files and tokenizing. Let us learn about tokenizing strings. We shall define a string first. So type line is equal to within double quotes par this then a long space and string We are now going to split the string into on white space. So type line dot split closing bracket. As you can see, we get a list of strings which means when split is called without any arguments, it splits on white space. In simple words, all the spaces are treated as one big space. The function split can also split on a string of our choice. This is achieved by passing that as an argument. But first, let's define a simple record from the file. So type record is equal to, within double quotes, a semicolon 015163, semicolon Joseph Raj S, semicolon 83, semicolon 42, 47, 0, 1, 72, 244. Now, Type record dot split and within brackets in single code semicolon. We can see that the string is split on the semicolon and we get each field separately. We can also observe that an empty string appears in this list since there are two semicolons without anything in between. In short, split splits on white space if called without an argument and splits on the given argument if it is called with an argument. So pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video. So split the variable line using a space as argument. Is it same as splitting without an argument? So type on the terminal record dot split then closing bracket. We, we see that when we split on space Multiple white spaces are not clubbed as one and there is an empty string every time there are two consecutive spaces. Now that we know how to split strings, we can split the record and retrieve each field separately. But there is one problem. The region code B and a B surrounded by white space are treated as two different regions. Hence we must find a way to remove all the white space around a string so that the region code B and a B with white spaces are dealt as same. This is possible by using the strip method of strings. Let us define a string by typing. Now switch to terminal and type unstripped is equal to double quotes in a long space then B again a long space. and type unstrip dot strip then closing brackets. 
we can see that the strip removes all the white spaces around the sentence so pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume so what happens to the white space inside sentence when it is stripped we see that the white space inside the sentence is only removed and the rest remains unaffected so type a underscore str is equal to double quotes in double quotes long space then white then again a space then type space then long space ok then hit enter then type a underscore str dot strip closing bracket but now we know that enough to separate fields from the record and to strip out any white space the only roadblock we now have is conversion of string to float the splitting and stripping operation are done on a string and the result is also a string hence the marks that we have are all strings and mathematical operations are not possible on them we must convert them into numbers maybe integers of floats before we can perform mathematical operations on them so we shall look at converting strings into floats we define a float string first so type mark underscore str is equal to within double quotes 1.25 then mark is equal to int within brackets float again within brackets mark underscore str then type within brackets mark underscore str then type type then brackets mark we can see that string is converted to float we can perform mathematical operations on them now so now pause the video here and try out the following exercise then resume the video so what happens if you do int within brackets 1.25 so type int within double quotes 1.25 in the terminal and hit enter it raises an error since converting a float string into integer directly is not possible it involves an intermediate step of converting to float hence we will have to do the following conversion so type dcml underscore str is equal to within double quotes 1.25 then slt is equal to float dcml underscore str within brackets then type slt then number is equal to int within brackets slt then type number using int it is possible it is also possible to convert float into integers now that we have all the machinery required to pass the file let us solve the problem we first read the file line by line and pass each record we then see if the region code b is b and store the mark accordingly so type mat underscore mark underscore b is equal to closing bracket then hash an empty file list to store the mark for line in open within brackets in double quotes slash home slash for c slash sslc dot txt then colon then in the next line and 
the second line you have to type four line in open then within brackets in double quotes slash home slash fossi slash sslc dot txt then a colon then after that you should type field is equal to line dot split then within brackets in double quotes colon then sorry semicolon then region code region underscore code is equal to field within square bracket zero then region underscore code underscore strip is equal to region underscore code dot strip within closing bracket then mat underscore mark underscore str is equal to field within square bracket 5 then mat underscore mark is equal to float within brackets math underscore mark underscore str then type if region underscore code is equal to if equal to in double quotes b colon then math underscore mark underscore b dot Attend within brackets math underscore mark and hit enter. Now we have all the math marks of region B in the list math underscore marks underscore B. To get the mean, we just have to sum the marks and divide by the length. So type math underscore marks underscore mean is equal to sum within brackets math underscore marks underscore b divided by that is slash len len within brackets math underscore marks underscore b then hit enter then type math underscore marks if we math underscore mark underscore mean hence we get our final output so this is how we split and read such a huge data and perform computations on it so this brings us to the end of the tutorial and in this tutorial we have learned to tokenize a string using various delimiters like semicolon then split the data separated by delimiters using the function split then get rid of extra white spaces around using the strip function then convert data types of numbers from one type to another then start da input data and perform computation on it so here are some self-assessment questions for you to solve so first one how do you split the string within double quotes guido Roll some Python to get the words, and those are split by semicolon. And the second question: How will you remove the extra white spaces in this sentence with a double quote "Hello World" with some space? And the third question: What does int within brackets in double quotes "20 point zero" produce? And the options are 20, 20 point oh, then error, then within double quotes 20. And just look at we'll just look at the answers. The first one we we can split the string the semicolon by passing it as an argument into the split function as line dot split with a bracket semicolon. The second question hello world dot strip function will remove the extra white spaces around the string. 
and the last one int within brackets and double quotes 20.0 will give an error because converting a float string 20.0 directly into integer is not possible so we hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful thank you